StadiumDB.com presents Future Stadiums in France Bonjour! Time for the next episode of our series featuring design of future stadiums. This time we will focus on France. In this country you'll find quite a few new interesting stadium projects that are being implemented or planned. And for the last one we have something special for you, so be sure to stick around until the end. And with that being said, here are 11 concepts of future French stadiums. Stade Paul Lignon Capacity 6800 Rodet AF We begin our journey in a small city and commune in the south of France, about 150 kilometers northeast of Toulouse. Comprehensive reconstruction of the stadium which hosts Ligue 2, Rodet AF, began in 2021 and is expected to last until 2024. At the completed Paul Lignon, fans will be close to the players, while the stadium will be completely enclosed and roofed. The capacity of the new Rodet Stadium is set to be 6,800 spectators, all seated. Stade Bouer, capacity 10,000, Red Star FC. We move to the Paris metropolitan area. At the local venue, third-tier Red Star FC plays its matches on a daily basis. Stade Boueur has been undergoing upgrades since 2021, with work expected to be completed in 2024. The plan calls for four stands, three of which are to be covered. Along the sideline of the pitch and behind one of the goals, single-level stands will be built. The characteristic pyramid-shaped housing behind the western goal, where a permanent stand is not planned, will be retained. Stade au Foudvin, capacity 15,000, Stade Bressois 29. Time for a visit to Brittany. Plans to realize a new stadium for Stade Bressois 29 in a new location are slowly taking shape. According to the latest information, the facility is to be built between 2025 and 2027. The design by François de la Serre follows the concept of a red and white boat in an ocean of green. The stadium will have a football-specific layout, with stands located behind the end lines of the pitch. The stands behind the goals will be lower than those along the field, with a total capacity of 15,000 spectators, of which 700 seats will be available in boxes. The venue will be clad in a red and white façade with the upper part becoming a canopy covering the entire auditorium. Stade Nemesis, capacity 15,100, Nîmes Olympique. We are moving to the south of the country. A new stadium for Nîmes Olympique is to be built to replace the old Stade des Costières. In order for the club to have a place to play during the redevelopment, a temporary Stade des Antonins has been erected nearby. Meanwhile, the target Stade Nemusis will be built between 2024 and 2026. The structure of the stadium is to be very simple, but quite impressive thanks to the reference to ancient architecture. Stade Armand Césarie, capacity 16,500, SC Bastia. We land in Corsica. The stadium of local Bastia has been successively modernized since the 1990s. The final phase of work is due to be completed between 2024 and 2025. The project will include a new roof on the east and west stands, the creation of a 1,300-square-meter museum, a restaurant in the north stand, the extension of the roof on the north and south stands, the creation of a fan zone, the modernization of media facilities, and the creation of conference rooms in the south stand. The facility is designed to look a bit like a mini Stade Velodrome in Marseille. At this point, we would like to ask you to subscribe, smash the bell and like this video. A comment below would also be appreciated. Thanks! Stade du Mestroir, capacity 17,000, FC Lorient. We are back in Brittany. This time we are in the seaside town of Lorient, where the first division club has its home ground. The project to redevelop the Stade du Mestroir, according to which the venue will be given a more coherent look and a slight increase of its capacity, is nearing implementation. On June 29, 2023, the announcement of the winning concept took place. Work is due to start in 2024 and be carried out in phases until 2028. Stade de Boblon 
Capacity 20,000. Limoges Football. We are moving to the central France. The project to upgrade the local venue for Limoges FC and the USL rugby team started in 2012. The plan was to completely rebuild the venue with the removal of the running track and the construction of new stands. Initially, two stands were taken up, the main west stand and behind the south goal. In the end, the two new stands were completed in 2018 after many setbacks. So far, half of the project has been realized. The stadium no longer has a running track and the old east stand is still in place. It is not known when the redevelopment would be completed. Stade Gabriel Montpied, capacity 30,000, Clermont Foot. We remain in the central part of the country. The stadium in Clermont-Ferrand is especially famous for the main stand, built in 1995, with an unusual canopy under a steel arch. The plan is to add new stands on the three missing sides. The new stands will be surrounded by a rather unusual structure with a roof. The 39-meter-high floodlight masts will be moved 7 to 8 meters from their current position to provide the necessary visual comfort for fans. The extension had already been planned since the beginning of the 20th century, but construction of the new East Stand did not start until the summer of 2023. Stade saint symphorien capacity 30,000. FC Metz. Moving to Lorraine, the redevelopment of the Stade saint symphorien which has been planned for many years, has finally come to fruition. The project, which has been implemented since 2019, pursues the key objectives – the creation of a new South Stand, the closing and unification of the body, and by doing so, also an increase in capacity. The new South Stand will receive two levels, with corner sections also to be added in the second phase of construction. Stade de la Menu – Capacity 32,000 – FC Strasbourg we remain in the eastern part of the France. The stadium project for RC Strasbourg involves enlarging the main south stand. The winning concept was announced at the beginning of 2021. Work was to have taken place between 2022 and 2025, but implementation was delayed and the construction did not start until July 2023, with a planned completion in 2026. The expansion of the arena's capacity is to be achieved by the superstructure of a second level above the main stand. One of the important principles of the project is to keep the necessary demolition to a minimum. Therefore, the other three stands will retain their existing roofs. Underneath, however, there will be major changes. The new auditorium layout, expanded backstage facilities and a lightweight transparent façade. Angron Park Capacity 75,000, Paris Saint-Germain. As announced, we have something special for you at the end. PSG is struggling to find a stadium that suits the needs of a growing club. Therefore, we present to you a non-commercial concept to stimulate a discussion on a new stadium for the Parisians. Parc de Prince is a true architectural icon, listed as a historic monument that requires a subtle approach to expansion. In addition to the design by Arthur Lepereur, Théo M. Antonio Villani, we decided to involve AI in the process. As is its custom, it went a little crazy by placing the stadium for PSG right next to the Eiffel Tower, a project perhaps unrealistic, but very spectacular indeed. Do you like the renderings of the new PSG venue? Let us know in the comments section. And this concludes our tour of future French stadiums. We surely are looking forward to seeing them completed. Make sure you have your say in the comments which design you like the most. Thank you for watching and see you soon!